and uh, come come check y'all out. Well, we're here. one of my favorite places. Conversation with one of the greats and what this is. And I'm Jane Rain. I'll talk with him. So, fall transit. Take it. Hopefully, this goes on a replica of that one. Come to your live coverage. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. As promised, I said I'd hop on here, kind of give everybody a little bit of an update on uh, a few things going on. Obviously, we're going to dive into a little bit of an update on the tournament ban or the restriction on tournaments currently going on, which is supposed to run through uh, and including May 3rd. So I'll update you on that. And of course, I reached out to everyone through a post out there asking about if anybody would be interested in a web-based tournament offering up for some bass boat folks. Uh, as we all know, the kayak community has, has kind of uh, been able to continue on with a lot of their tournaments uh, as far as keeping it a online-based tournament without any actual live weigh-in or group gathering uh, you know, at a specific body of water. Uh, so, so it looks like, and it sounds like I'm excited. Uh, a lot of you are saying that, that you're ready to, to go fish, uh, willing to possibly look at, uh, jumping on board with a web based tournament. So I am going to cover all of that as well. What you'll need, uh, several things that you will need to be able to participate in this event. It is currently in the works. So, uh, we will dive all, uh, into all of that here shortly. So this, like I said, that's just what this video is about. We're going to cover uh, all of that. And uh, so I'll let you know what you need. But first and foremost, what's the update? As we all know, started out April 16th. They pushed it back through May 3rd. Uh, I, I can give you a little bit of info from, from uh, what I know. And it is, uh, there are some things in the works. There should be some information updated in the next few days to uh, tournament directors and organizations and trails. So look for that information to be released. As we know, like I said, that's supposed to kind of finish up through May 3rd. That's Saturday. So I know there's some tournaments on the schedule for the 4th on Sunday. So just, just pay attention. Uh, there will be some information released here in just the next few days, and I will update everyone as soon as I get that information. So stay tuned. Currently, tournament uh, restriction is through May 3rd, but expect uh, some information on that here in just the next couple days. So like I said, I'll get that to you as soon as I, I hear that information. But this web-based tournament, uh, let me just give you a little bit of the rundown why I, I thought this uh, would be a good opportunity for me to jump on board and offer something, and um, we're going to dive into everything that you will need to be able to participate in this event. We're going to try to uh, run this as fair as possible, uh, some of the variables that we're, I'm looking at right now, and uh, what we're going to have to do to make this thing work. So, uh as you all know, the kayak community has adopted uh, the, the basic catch photo release, CPR style tournaments. You catch your fish, uh, you lay it on a approved measuring device, you take a picture of it with a proper identif identifier or identifier code uh, that is released day of or the night before the tournament, and you just upload your fish to a uh, online-based tournament software or a app, and 
Those fish get judged by length only, closest quarter of an inch, and or uh, well, the first, the first quarter inch that the, that the tail of the fish uh, touches, and then your 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 total inches it, that that determines your finishing uh, order. So, uh, that is our only option to be able to fish a tournament right now. It has to be a web based tournament with no live weigh in. So. Way, actually weighing a fish in person, whether you drive through or whatever you could possibly come with, uh, come up with is not even an option right now. So here are some of the variables. There are tournaments scheduled pretty much everywhere. We all know 900 plus tournaments scattered throughout the state already uh, permitted. So uh, I'm looking at some of those locations. Uh, I already have a location in mind. I have sent an email to Delana. Uh, Kisner that um, or I'm sorry Delana Kinzer at the WVDNR she handles all of the tournament permits so I have already sent an email to her explaining outlining exactly the processes that will be in place to be able to offer this tournament to everybody and uh, she is going to have to send this to her uh, boss who does do all the approving due to the situation we're in right now. So if I can get this approved uh, and everything that I've got kind of put in place, I believe we've got a good chance. And that is just obviously dependent on the folks that uh, potentially could have a permit canceled or postponed or, or what have you, depending on what information comes out over the next few days. So if these locations are opened up and there's no event, no web-based event going on at that time, uh, we are going to push and try to make this happen. So I wanted to come, kind of come to you. Um, I'm shooting for May 9th. Okay, now this is all dependent on what happens over the next few days and the announcements that are made. Uh, they could go ahead and open up tournament fishing, but as you know, they've been following along with the governor's orders on social distancing and eliminating large uh, gatherings, especially sports gatherings. So, uh, you know, depending on what, what happens, uh, they will be making some decisions accordingly. So I, I don't have that info right now, but we'll get it out soon as soon as I hear it. So tentatively, uh, I, I went ahead and sent, sent to her, uh, you know, this will be a uh, dog talk West Virginia Open. Uh, this will be for bass, spot a large mouth and small mouth. May 9th, if May 9th isn't available for some reason, uh, this could be pushed back to possibly May 16th, but this still gives everyone a week and a half to, to download the couple apps and get a few things in place so we can get everyone registered uh, and also get an approved measuring device in time to be able to compete because everybody will be using the exact same measuring device. We want this to be comp uh, as, as fair as possible, uh, and I'll go over some of those things briefly, and we can always dive into uh, everything in detail over the, um, over the weekend, depending on what I hear back from, uh, from them tomorrow or so. So, uh, anywho, uh, let's see what we got going on. Also, like I said, May 9th or May 16th, tournament will run 7 to 3. Like I said, this is pending DNR approval and what happens with the uh, permits. And this, I I'm shooting for Stonewall Jackson. And here's why uh, I immediately thought of Stonewall. They are, with all the social distancing guidelines, extremely strict on large gatherings. So I was trying to think of a place that has ample ramp access so multiple ramps so that eliminates everyone uh, just gathering at one single ramp and having a set time that you have to be in the water so I will be running this tournament as long as it can be approved right here from home all the judging of fish will be done right here on the computer at home you will upload your fish to the app uh, to the website, and I would judge these fish right from home. So there will be no morning check-in. Everything will be done through PayPal, online, registering through tourneyx.com, uh, and you'll just submit your photos, do all the judging. So basically there will be four ramps that you'll be able to use if we can get this approved uh, at Stonewall. Uh, you will be required to use one of those four ramps, and we'll get into more details uh, later. Uh, seven to three, and from uh, 
everybody's responses. You know, this could potentially be uh, 25, 30, 35 boats possibly could be, uh, could be fishing this. So uh, as far as price, uh, cost, entry fee for this tournament, and, and we'll get more into detail. I don't want to dive in too deep with all this because it's just not approved yet. I'm trying to get them to be able to approve this. I just want to go over a few things so you know what you need, so you can kind of get a, a leg up on and being prepared for. As soon as they say it's a go, then you'll pretty much be set once I set up this tournament online. Uh, so, uh, I went through all this this with them, uh, sent them an email, uh, kind of outlining the whole processes, uh, just briefly how an online tournament can and will be ran. Uh, if I can get this approved is there'll be a set time that you can have your lines in the water fishing. It'll be, say, seven to three is what we're shooting for. I will allow you to put your boat in the water up to one hour early from first cast, which 6 a.m. You can start dumping your boats in the water. What this does is allow you to be able to not have to group up, not have to rush around at the ramp. Everyone's sitting out on the water. You go pick your ramp. You put in the water anytime. Actually, you could put in after the uh, designated start time, the official start time of the tournament. If you had something going on, I'm you. Yeah, I'm not going to be there to police or patrol this. There's no blast off of the morning. So technically, if you had something to do in the morning, you couldn't get on the water till 10 or 11. You're more than welcome to still fish. Uh, there will be an identifier code. More than likely, it will be a three or four digit number randomly generated. Uh, will not generate that number until Friday night before the tournament. That won't be released until after dark. What does that do? That keeps somebody from having that code ahead of time and potentially taking a picture of a fish with the identifier code in the picture. So I hope I hope that's that's clear. That just eliminates somebody from being able to to, to uh, uh, get that picture beforehand, not during official tournament hours. So you will be able to just kind of motor to your spot. Head on to your spot whenever you like, but first cast cannot be in the water until 7 a.m. Last cast and the last picture that could be taken, so your pictures that you're taking, these are all time stamped. You'll have to enable your GPS location on your phone. If you do it through TourneyX app, all of this will automatically, you will allow those permissions when you first sign up. And what this does is tags your GPS location to your photo. Most of your smartphones are already set up this way. Uh, it will tag your GPS location. It will also give a time and date of that picture. So we know exactly when the picture was taken. So if you take that picture at 655, 659, we know you were fishing early. That fish will not count. So that enables it to be extremely fair. As we all know, uh, the tournament community and uh, anglers, we rely on everybody, our fellow anglers, to be honest, uh, full of integrity, uh, to prevent these things from happening. This is uh, uh, an online-based tournament. It's no different than a live tournament that we've seen. Uh, you know, the potential out there for people to be dishonest. So these things are in place to be extremely fair for the entire field of anglers that would be fishing an online-based event. So say last cast, and the last, uh, last cast is at three. So basically you, technically it'd be just before three. So say you catch a fish and you can get that fish in before three o'clock and be able to take that picture Take that photo of your fish on the designated approved measuring device uh, by 3 o'clock. Uh, and then what will happen is you will have a time frame, a time window, about an hour. I haven't decided yet. We'll get into this a little further later. Uh, but you will have a designated time to be able to upload all your photos. Okay, so that what that does is allows you to kind of fish that full uh, seven to three, the full tournament hours without technically really having to worry about uploading your pictures. 
So to be able to upload your pictures onto an app, obviously you will have to have cell service or get within a Wi-Fi signal, but you'll have a time frame to, to be able to upload those. Could be an hour, could be an hour and a half. We'll get into that. Uh, later, like I said, once and if these this gets approved. So uh, it is exciting. It is something different. I understand that we all love holding up those five fish bags, standing in front of the camera for uh, what I call the hero shot. Uh, and that's all, that's all great. Now, as we know, we do not have the opportunity to be able to tournament fish right now. So this is our only opportunity. I wanted to be able to offer something to, to, the, uh, uh, to everybody. Uh, you know, I know we're itching to get out there and I believe this is extremely fair, uh, and it's a fun, it's a, it's a different way to fish. Uh, as you, you can upload your fish. If you can get a hold of some cell phone signals somewhere, I know there's plenty of places on Stonewall and other fisheries with uh, cell phone service. So wherever this can get approved, hopefully Stonewall, uh, you can upload your fish throughout the day. You can check that live leaderboard. You'll be able to see where your other anglers are kind of sitting. Uh, so it's just really exciting. Um, as you know, uh, MLF, that's kind of the direction they went. Other, you know, they don't go in length, obviously. They go by weight, but it, it is all digital. Um, catch photo release, especially right now during spawn time, it is important. We all know that uh, whether we want to admit it or not, uh, it does affect fish when we're yanking them off the bed and hauling them around. So, uh, as you know, this is just an opportunity I'm trying to provide to everybody. It's not to leave anyone out. Uh, that you know, say was uh, you know, why not open it up to to everybody any way you want to fish? Well, this is for boats. This will be a bass boat tournament. Now, I will not be able to be there. I won't be there. There will be no gathering, uh, uh, large gathering or groups. But uh, this will be open to basically all bass boats. Uh, you know, I, I can't put a rule in place on something if I can't patrol it basically uh, uh if i can't oversee a rule i'm not going to put it in place it doesn't doesn't make sense so and, and and you know how we are we just we're here we're here to we kind of govern ourselves it's like that when you're out in the water somebody could get away with about anything uh if you're willing to to be dishonest so we kind of hold each other accountable with with 20 30 40 boats out there you're going to see folks fishing and uh, just having that watchful eye, kind of, uh, if needed, uh, we're all kind of just watching out for for the good of the tournament, anyway. So, uh, but anyways, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Uh, I'm going to go over and kind of show you the few things that you are going to have to have. I'll give you the websites listed, and when this video does post, I'll make sure to drop the links to each of them so you can get on and uh, get these apps and these products that you need. All right, first and foremost. The approved and only approved measuring device that will be used, okay, will be the uh, hog trough. Now, the hog trough is a 30-inch long measuring device. It is plastic. Uh, it is marked in quarter of inches. So, every quarter inch, eight inches all the way up, quarter inch, uh, all the way up to 30 inches. This will be the only approved measuring device that we will use if this tournament does get approved and, and possibly for future use. You know, there, the potential to have this type of tournament is uh, is awesome. It really is. So uh, this is uh, just a clip off of uh, Fishing Online's website. Now, Fishing Online, as you see, it is pre-lined. So these lines, they actually hand mark all these lines, pre-lined, and it's already got foam uh, in the channels on the backing, so they do float. Nineteen ninety nine, and you can actually let's see, you can actually pick up. They offer an option that is twenty three ninety nine, and that is a hog trough with a tourney tag. Now the tourney tag, as you see, is just a uh, a little slip, waterproof, that you can put an identifier code. Could be a piece of paper with a random whatever code is picked for the tournament. And you slide that over over the top of the uh, hog trough, and it's just an easy way to keep that all together. Uh, you know, when you take your picture. Uh, but all right, so and that is like I said, fishingonline.com. They are based out of PA. I'm not saying that's where you would have to go to buy one, uh, but I reached out to uh, John uh, Harley and uh, his team, and they have them in stock. They he he's got quite a few of them ready to ship. He, he'll ship by 2 o'clock 
every day as long as your order is, is in. He will ship other than Saturday and Sunday. But Monday through Friday, if you order by 2 o'clock, that will ship same day. Most folks that has ordered will get that shipment within just a couple days. Like I said, they do a phenomenal job getting those uh, products out in an extremely timely manner. Now, uh, like I said, the good thing is they come pre-lined and floating. There are several other uh, places here in the state that would or potentially could have those. Uh, Ace Adventure Gear up in Fayetteville area, uh, Elevation Sports uh, just outside of Beckley. Um, you have Gunner's Yacht Shack down on Winfield, Mountaineer RV, that's up in uh, Weston area. Uh, there are quite a few, and I know I'm probably leaving someone out, and sorry if, if I have, um, but... I just don't know everyone's hours. I do know for a fact that they are shipping and they come pre-lined. That's what you're going to need. If it's not lined and if someone's judging those fish, which would be me, and I can't see where those those lines are because it's extremely hard to see in a picture sometimes, uh, especially with glare and, and different things. But uh, if they're not lined, I'm going to have to go to the closest uh, line that I can make out, which a lot of times is the uh, you know, full inch mark. So, uh, anywho, just a little bit of info with that. So, like I said, you're going to have to have a hog trough. That will be the only approved measuring device if we can get this thing approved. Like I said, go ahead and order one. They're, they're a great measuring, uh, measuring board nonetheless. Uh, I keep one in the truck all the time. A lot of times it's, it's in the boat. Uh, but, uh, extremely handy. And if things move forward, we never know how, how things are going to kind of shake up. These are nice to have anyways. And if you were interested in fishing, say the, uh, Bass Nation kayak series or Bass Nation of West Virginia, uh, wanted to join one of the adult clubs. And, and now like a, you've heard me talk about, there is uh, going to be some options to be able to fish state qualifiers on the kayak side now. So that's exciting. And, and you're going to have to have one of these anyways, one of these, or, uh, uh, there's another approved board, but this is what we will be using for this tournament also. So pick you up a hog trough. They'll ship within a couple of days. Go, go and grab you one. Next up, let's see here, is going to be, you're going to have to get a PayPal account. A lot of folks already have a PayPal account. What is a PayPal account? Uh, as you see here on the screen, this is actually uh, the app. If you log into Google Play Store, if you are a Samsung Android user, that's what you will see. You'll see the PayPal app. You can go and get the app, or you can log on to uh, paypal.com. PayPal.com, uh, you can handle it all online. What this is, it's a secure, um, basically money app. Uh, uh, it's easy to use. It's, it's accepted by a lot of folks, and it is how you would have to pay on tourneyx.com. Here is another picture. Uh, this is actually uh, what their website looks like if you would uh, log in to PayPal.com online on your computer or just do your web browser. You'll see PayPal. It is free to sign up. Uh, you can link, obviously, a, a credit card or a debit card and can even link your bank account. It is an extremely secure. Uh, everything is uh, kind of guaranteed and protected through PayPal. They do a phenomenal job if you never heard of it. But this is what you will have to do, what, to, what you'll have to have uh, to be able to register on TourneyX dot com and to be able to participate in this event uh like i said I, I i don't want it to seem overwhelming to anybody uh but these these things are in place to make it run extremely uh quick and easy never have to exchange any monies uh you'll register and pay online and all payouts at the end of the tournament will be straight back to you at paypal if you're uh, lucky enough to finish up top so uh, that is what you'll need. So, number one, hog trough. Number two, set up a PayPal account if you don't already have one. And third, uh, last but not least, every this whole tournament will be set up on tourneyx.com. Right here, tourneyx.com. That is their website. They do... Dwayne uh, Wally, Wally does have a new Tourney X Pro app. That is the app that you will have to use. 
Uh, and uh, and there's be a there's he's got a whole list of YouTube video uh, outlining the entire app, how to use the new Tourney X Pro app. Extremely simple. Uh, you can download it on an Android or Apple device. Uh, and like I said, that is how you upload each photo. It automatically calls out your smallest fish when you catch another one to upload. And let's see here. We're going to bring this up. That is what the app looks like on the, I believe, the Google uh, Play Store. Uh, and this is actually what the app will look like once you download it uh, to your to your phone. All right. So right there, Tourney X Pro, that's what that says. That is a free app. Uh, like I said, you can easily uh, log in online, tourneyx.com, and register. Uh, what I'm going to do tomorrow is go ahead and set up this tournament on Tourney X so you can actually uh, pre-register and pay once I get this set up and approved, okay? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and work on it on Tourney X to try to speed up the process if they would go ahead and approve this for the ninth. Uh, and I know that's short notice. We are chomping at the bit to get out there. This is going to be plenty of time to take care of all of this. This gives you about a week and a half to order your hog trough locally and then line it yourself with a sharpie or uh, you can order one from fishing online uh, you do want to throw out this is not uh, sponsored or endorsed by fishing online but i know those folks really well up there to do a, a phenomenal job getting products out um, uh, but source locally if you can if you'd like if you're lucky enough to go into shop and if you can get one and if not you can always uh, just order one from them like i said they come pre-lined it's extremely extremely handy to, to have it that way so like i said number one get a hog trough two please get you a paypal account i will work on the setting up the tournament on tourney x and as soon as uh, I could get this thing approved through the DNR, as long as they're going to allow us to uh, try to try to get this going, then I will immediately release that information and throw out uh, a little more information on the Tourney X Pro app or the website. You can find it either way and navigate and find Doc Talk WV Open is what it'll be labeled as. Uh, and I will keep you updated on the process as, uh, as far as once it, once it gets approved. Uh, but you'll be able to pay on there. Uh, and, and let me know what you all think. Uh, I was thinking as far as uh, entry fee, don't want to make it too high, but want to make it worth everyone's while to be able to travel to this tournament. You know, it's two hours for a lot of folks sitting just, uh, just about mid-state. So, you know, hour and a half away for a lot of folks, two hours away for a lot of folks. So I want to make it worth your while. Uh, there is a $5 fee that I will have to pay to Tourney X to be able to run this tournament. So uh, five bucks out of every entry feed will go to that. We'll run a $5 uh, big bass pot uh, that will be included in the entry fee as well. And uh, so I was thinking somewhere around 60 bucks. That's 50 bucks out of each entry. This will be a... You can fish alone, solo, or two-man tournament. No more than two in a boat. Uh, and you know, generally, you all know how, how tournaments work. It'll be ran very close to a traditional tournament, five fish. Uh, haven't decided if we'll set a limit, if we'll catch photo and release. We really don't have to have a minimum size limit, so we'll address some of the uh, rules in depth later if we can get this thing approved. But... Uh, uh, so I hope you're excited. This is something new. You got to get your hog trough, get your PayPal set up and go ahead and set you up a free Tourney X account. Set you up a username and password the same way for PayPal. Uh, that way, once we get this thing rolling, uh, we can immediately get, get some people registered and be set up and answer any questions that anyone has in the meantime. So this was just a quick breakdown. I know I, I was probably bouncing all over the place. I was trying to just give you an idea of what to expect. Um, like I said, hog trough, PayPal, or you can get the app. And definitely go ahead and get that Tourney X Pro app. And we will definitely uh, try to get this thing rolling. Get everybody out in the water. Be able to compete. 
potentially win some money and uh, just have a good time. You know, we, we got to adapt when these things happen. I hate that I really haven't put anything together before now uh, with really not knowing how all this COVID was going to shake up and shake out and, and just really uh, we all want to be safe and we want to abide by the governor's orders and the CDC guidelines. So uh, it's looking like web base is the way to go right now. want to offer you all something. I hope you're excited. I am. Any questions until I find out more info, info from the DNR uh, as far as what's going to happen for uh, whether or not they're going to release, go ahead and allow us to have some regular tournaments or if this uh, kind of web-based tournament is going to extend on and if they will approve this CPR-style online tournament. Uh, reach out to me. Uh, shoot me a message on Facebook. Shoot me a message, personal account. If you got my number, shoot me a message, call me. I'll answer uh, questions best, uh, best as I can. Uh, but until next time, uh, stay tuned. Uh, I will reach out to you as soon as I find something out. We'll be going live this weekend, kind of update you on, on what's going on. We'll go over the entire rules for this event if we can get it approved. Uh, you all have a wonderful day, and as always, we'll see you on the water.